And I guess now, I mean, it seemed like uh, everything we shared, doom and gloom, but uh, this is a program of faith and hope. Uh, what can individuals do to try to get their portfolios and their right. in, in, in order? First thing to always remember, God is in control of this. By all means. Okay? By all means. God didn't make the mess, yeah. but he certainly allowed us to get into it. So if you're in a mess right now, you've got to, you've got to sit down and you've got to say, here's what I owe. Here's what it's costing me to live. Here's what I'm bringing in. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm bringing in more than, than what it costs me to live? If not, then you've got two choices. you either got to cut back on what it's costing you to live, and that can be extremely painful. Things that, that you, you thought you invested in, you thought you could do, you thought you could own, you may not be able to afford it. Or you find a way to make more money. And that may be that the that, um, um, second person in the home may have to start working. You may have to take a second job, a weekend job, uh, to make them more money. Because if you can't make enough money to pay for what's coming out, that's what we call bankruptcy. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord is going to allow us, if we make these mistakes, if we get too greedy, He'll get us through this. But... It can be a little rough. There is consequences to our actions. Right. But you got to remember, the Lord's in control. If you put your faith in Him yeah. and you're willing to do what He calls on you to do, mm -hmm. you can get through this. Stay here with me. Beloved, let's be lifted up with the good gospel video at this time as we lift up in, in spite of things that's going on. But we share with you. We'll, well, we'll be right back after we're from a few of our wonderful sponsors. When you need quality, where can you go? Downtown pharmacy. All your medical needs, tell me where could it be? Downtown pharmacy. When you need cosmetics, where can you get it? Downtown pharmacy. With the drive through and call service, I think you deserve this. Downtown pharmacy. Well, downtown pharmacy. Come on. No doubt, it's downtown pharmacy. 940-767-4345-1100 Scott Street, Wichita Falls, Texas. God is still on the throne and prayer changes things. Mount Pleasant Baptist Church is committed to caring, sharing, and serving. Being the oldest and one of the largest churches of our east side community, we are an active church with a variety of ministries for people of all ages. We invite you to join us at any of our services. Hello, I'm Robert Castle, pastor of the Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. We would like to extend to each of you an invitation to come and worship with us as we prepare for the Lord's coming. Hi, I'm Marilyn Hart, RN, Director of Nursing at River Oaks Care Center. We provide skill therapies, a nursery restorative program that is exceptional, and we also now have their focus on our quality of life so that our residents feel at home. Let us take care of your loved one when you no longer can. Hi, I'm Mark Tang, Administrator of River Oaks Care Center. We remain one of the top three nursing homes in Wichita Falls. We now have the Quality of Life Initiative. Come take a tour. We are the smallest home with the biggest heart. Hi, my name is Janelle Tyson. Don't miss my gospel train, everybody. I'm Bob McCartney, pastor of First Baptist Church here in Wichita Falls. My wife, Mary Ann, and I have only been here for a short time, but we've discovered something about this church and its people. They make you feel right at home from the moment you walk in the door. We know you'll find a warm First Baptist welcome from them as well as you explore everything we have to offer as a church. Visit us this week and find out for yourself why we say First Baptist Church feels like home. Thank you so much for being back with us tonight. And Brother Gary, it, it is fast and furious tonight. And, oh, uh, and as we share, now, as we begin, what are some of the steps? You said people got to balance what you bring in and, and your bills. 
Now, now, now here's something else. I mean, this all this stuff can be uh, new to a lot of people. This is not stuff they teach in high school. This is not yeah. stuff they teach in college. This is stuff you're supposed to figure out on your own somehow. Don't ask me how. Get counsel. The, the Bible tells us when, when yes. we have problems, we have crisis, we should seek wise counsel. Wise counsel. Uh, uh, talk to the elders of your church. Talk to the pastors of your church. Talk, talk, to, your, talk to your friends. Find out who they use, whether, whether it's a, a credit counseling service, whether it's a financial advisor, whether it's just a friend who can sit down and pray with you and help you go over the books. Maybe you have somebody who works in an accounting office who can teach you how to figure out budgets and stuff. Well, but get, get help if you don't know how to do it yourself. I think we have wise counsel tonight. And uh, how can they get in touch with you? Well, I mean, my number is 940-692-6885. Uh, okay. I'm in all the various yellow pages. At least I pay to be in all the <laughs> yellow pages. Uh, uh, my website's personalmoneyplanning.com or okay. GarySilverman.com. If you remember me or my company... Uh, but, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be me. I mean, I will help you if, yeah. if you call. But, uh, you know, a lot of times, sometimes it's just somebody to sit down with us and, and, and keep us going. Because we'll, when you look at, at the mass of bills coming in and you look at a little bit of income coming in, yeah. and that's the way it is for most Americans. The ones who look like they're, they're riding high on the hog, they're not. They're not. Yeah. They're in as much trouble as you are, probably deeper because they could get bigger loans and stuff. So, yeah, so yeah. D don't try to keep up with the Joneses. The Joneses are bankrupt. Okay. okay. So don't keep up with them. Get some help. But sometimes just having a friend that will sit by you and say, "Have you done this this week? Have you gone ahead and, and contacted the bank? Have you gone ahead and contacted the credit card companies? Have Have you gone and seen what your minimum payments are? Have you talked to the mortgage company? Because a lot of times we just get stuck. Yeah. And I see so many people just figure it's hopeless. There's nothing I can do. I just don't know what to do. And then they stop. They freeze. Yeah. And you see that in many emergencies. All Things happen. People freeze. It's that one or two people that can get stuff going. Th that's the people you need to count on. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I again. appreciate you coming and sharing with us. Please take this good, wise counsel tonight here on the Mission Gospel Train.